Hi kids, hey, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna read you a story here. This, uh, this actually is a book, it's, it's full of poems. The title of the book is The Boy Who Counted Stars. These are poems by David L. Harrison, illustrated by Betsy Lewin, and it is published, let's see, it's published by Wordsong a Boyd's, uh, of Boyd's Mills Press. So this book is The Boy Who Counted Stars. A lot of fun poems in here. I'm just going to read a few of them. You might want to check it out yourself later. Okay, the first one is called Where Children Go. Far away and long ago is a secret place children know where fearsome fiery dragons roam and magic forests grow. Trolls dwell there, giants too. Witches boil their midnight brew and fairies bathe in morning dew in the place that children know. Grown-ups never seem to know the secret place where children go, where valiant warriors draw their swords against a wicked foe, where eagles speak and spiders scold, enchanted streams run dark and cold, and goblins bury hordes of gold in the place that children know. Follow me and we will go where banners fly and trumpets blow to meet with elves in hidden glens where secret campfires glow, where wizards quarrel and fairies tease with merry voices on the breeze and castles rise above the trees and only children know. Okay, that's where the children go. Now we're going to take a look at one called The Trouble With My House, right here. I haven't any windows and I haven't any doors. I haven't any ceilings and I haven't any floors. I haven't got an attic and I haven't any halls. I haven't got a basement and I haven't any walls. I haven't got a roof. And that's the reason, I suppose, why rain keeps pouring on my head and dripping off my nose. That's a house with trouble. All right, this next one. This is one, oh yeah, we can all use this one. Monster manners. When you meet a monster, don't waste your breath saying, how do you do, or do you think it will rain, or how is your mother? Just say, I'm pleased to meet you. Because monsters know. When someone says, I'm pleased to meet you, that it's bad manners for them to eat you. Words to the wise. We have time for one more. This is called A Brief Romance. Oh, Mistress Hen, won't you let me in? The fox asked with a foxy grin. But the hen said, I'm too clever. I love you so, he murmured low, just one little squeeze and then I'll go. But the hen just cackled, never. Don't make me blue, my sweet babu, I'll do anything for you. But the hen said, no, you wouldn't. My knees are weak, I can scarcely speak. I long to kiss your lovely beak. And the hen said, I just couldn't. A very brief romance. Anyway, that's just a few of the selections from the book, The Boy Who Counted Stars. Check it out for yourself if you would. Read a little bit for yourself, but always come back here because we have lots more for you. Thanks for joining me. Tell Me a Story, brought to you by Dr. Brad Bradshaw.